Hey everybody, Mark again here, weatherman plus. Good evening to you. I have your 2 o'clock update from National Hurricane Center. Uh, we have right here, we have your, your satellite view of Paul, Paulette. This is what's going on with Paulette, and you can see it's getting sheared off uh, pretty hard. If you put it on infrared, you can see the shear is getting torn by the high pressure from Paulette, but however you see it right here, it's still making that north to northwest uh, track. This is the center right there. Now this right here, this is Renee. Now Renee, you can see that it's starting to get stronger on the east side of the storm. Uh, if you put it on the, the infrared, you can see the buildup of the storm on the east side and it just gets stronger and stronger. So she is starting to get some power there. And here's what they both look like together. Let me refresh it so you get the latest update on that. But this is what they look like together. This is Paulette, this is Renee, this is the next one coming off, which would be Sally, and then the next one after that, which would be Teddy. And then after that, I imagine it would be the Vicky back here. But as you can see, they are coming, and this next one coming off, which would be Teddy, uh, it looks like it's getting pretty strong, pretty powerful, pretty quick. Now let me get over to the information for you so you can see, because I show there's very contradicting uh, outcomes coming. I know y'all love the Euro model, but I gotta show you the problems that I have as far as the Euro model, I'm not showing it's going to be correct on this one. Now the update so far is the disturbance that's over here in the Gulf it has gone up to 40%. A large area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms centered a couple of hundred miles east of the central Bahamas is associated with a surface trough of low pressure. This system is forecast to move westward, crossing the Bahamas and Florida on Friday and moving into the eastern Gulf of Mexico over the weekend. Uh, Upper level winds are expected to become conducive for development and a tropical depression could form while this system moves slowly west northwestward over the eastern Gulf of Mexico next week. And you still have this disturbance that still has 20% chance. Uh, and now what we have here is we have Paulette, 50 miles an hour now, it's at 998 millibars. It has gotten stronger from this morning. And Renee is at 50 miles an hour at 1000 millibars. It also got stronger from this morning. Now your disturbance three, which is going to be Sally, is still at 90%. It's a tropical wave. It's located a, hundred, a few hundred miles southeast of the Cabo Verde Islands, and it is producing disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Because you saw how the, the energy was on a, mostly the east side. It wasn't all the way around it forming a center. Uh, gradual development of this system is forecast, and a tropical depression is expected to form by this weekend or early next week while the system generally moves westward across the eastern and central tropical Atlantic. Now see, this is where the problem is that I have. National Hurricane Center tells you that this is moving westward, okay? Now, Euro is showing north, but GFS is showing west. And this disturbance four, you also have this at 40%. Now this is another tropical wave that it has grown in strength. It is forecast to emerge off the west coast of Africa this weekend. Environmental conditions are expected uh, to be conducive for development and a tropical depression could form over the far eastern tropical Atlantic early next week while the system moves slowly westward once again. And you can see the five-day outlook is in this area. Now the five-day outlook uh, for the, the euro shows it does an immediately north turn. And, and I'm thinking maybe it's, it's tracking... Uh, that next one that comes off the Teddy because that one does do a north pull but Sally makes it west even National Hurricane Center has it going west so here's Paulette you have it by uh, 8 a.m. on Monday it is predicted to be a hurricane that's when it's going to make his north turn and stop going west thank God that's a good thing we hope it sticks with that this is your intensity track uh, Bermuda it looks like you're going to be getting in somewhere around 50 miles an hour winds when this does come to you so please be safe over there. Now, Renee, Renee is predicted to stay a tropical storm. It will be a hurricane for a brief moment, but it will downgrade back. That's what National Hurricane Center is saying. So it will be Hurricane uh, Paulette. It will be Hurricane Renee. So those two are facts. And here's the intensity track. This is Paulette, but this is Renee right here. And you can see that they're both going north to northwestward. Now, the Euro shows that Renee does a loop and comes back and Sally goes north. So I don't think the Euro is the one to be listening to just for this 
uh, reason alone. I mean, I know it's, it's very accurate. It's a very good model. But let me show you the track. This is Paulette. And as Paulette moves through, you see here's Renee right here. It starts going north. And I, right immediately, Ren, Renee gets crazy, loses pressure, and starts doing this loop effect. And then right here, and then it starts coming back a little bit. And then it shows Sally. Sally, it shows an immediate northern turn. Look at that. But the National Hurricane Center showed the five-day development as a westward turn. That's why I'm not believing the Euro model just on this one. Now, if you go to Tropical Tidbits and you look at their GFS model, and in Tropical Tidbits is a good site, you can see both systems moving in. This is Renee. I mean, sorry, this is Paulette. It gets very close to the East Coast and turns out, I will show you that in depth. I'll show it gets a little bit closer. But Sally comes over the, the islands and goes across Florida. It does make it into the Gulf of Mexico. And it does become a hurricane. I do show that as well. And then when it goes through the states and comes off the East Coast, it starts strengthening again on its way out. Now, let me show you what I have. This is your GFS. This is that Pivotal Weather. I love piv Pivotal Weather. It is a great site. Now, I'm going to track this for you, okay? You have, the, you have Paulette. You have Renee coming into the picture. They make their north to northwest turn as predicted by the National Hurricane Center. This is Sally coming across. And if you notice, that one little turn right and left, that was the turn that Euro thought was, was the, the loop to come back. But GFS is showing that it does not come back. And we'll come back to that one going across the islands. Let's follow Paulette real quick. Now here's Paulette, 964, moving towards the East Coast. This right here is only 114 hours away, guys. And it starts losing uh, its intensity. It goes down to 960 as it starts moving towards the, the north to northeast. Now, I moved it to the winds so you can see exactly what's the potential of this uh, storm. I'm showing 71 knots so far. I'm going to show 72. Now, again, to, to turn knots into miles per hour, all you do is divide it by 6 and add it to that. That is uh, 11, so that'd be 80-something miles an hour already. But it does show that it does continue to strengthen to 956 millibars and the winds get 71, 78 right there. So 78 knots, y'all, if you take 6 and put it in a 78, you get 13. So 13 plus 78 is 91 miles an hour. That is very shy of a Cat 2, which is what the intensity tracks did show. But thank God, so far it shows that it misses everybody and it moves out. That's a good thing. Now, let's go back to where we was following. That was Paulette. We just seen where that went. Renee, Sally. Now, as we continue to move through, Paulette goes his way. Renee goes his way and dies out. Sally moves underneath Puerto Rico. Thank God. And it keeps moving westward. But it starts going over to islands after it passes uh, Puerto Rico. Now, the bad thing is maybe the Bahamas is, might have a problem with this storm. Now, it does weaken as it goes across the mountains. It goes down to 997, 1001. That's a great thing. It's, it's almost dying off. But then it starts strengthening again. And I change it to the winds. So you can see it as it moves in from the islands. It's at 992 millibars, 989, 974. That's just rapid intensification. It goes from 1000 to 964. And right now, we're already talking about 68, 73 knot winds. That's cat two guys. 957, right before landfall on Florida with 83 knot winds. It's cat two hurricane guys. Then it shows it goes over land, right over Florida. And right before landfall, I got 70 knot winds. It's still a hurricane hitting landfall. And then it starts moving to the east coast of Florida. Now you can see it over here, it's the same shot. Now, as it moves through, it moves across the Carolinas, across Georgia, across the Carolinas, and it goes into North Carolina and Virginia, and then it starts strengthening again and comes out into the ocean right before it gets to towards uh, any immediate, like New York or any of that effect. But it strengthens immediately. It automatically goes up to 55 knots, and it keeps moving 
uh, east to northeast. So there is going to be a lot of problems in this area from this storm as far as uh, undertow, as far as uh, the tides on the edge of the ocean pulling, and as far as having a tropical storm or a hurricane on the edge of your coast. So that's dangerous as it is. But that is the information that we have as far as the 2 o'clock update. And I, I told you I will keep you updated. I want to stay on top of this for you guys. I just want to get you the right information. Now, I want to read to you something that's very close to my heart. This one right here will help you if you're going through situations of trying to figure out how to be. Okay, because it's not easy on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to read to you James 4. From what source are there wars and from what source are there fights among you? Are they not from this source, namely from your cravings or sensual pleasure that carry on a conflict in your members? You desire, and yet you do not have. You go on murdering and coveting, and yet you are not able to obtain. You go on fighting and waging war. You do not have because of your not asking. You do ask, and yet you do not receive. Because you are, are asking for a wrong purpose. That you may expend it upon your cravings for sensual pleasure. Adulteresses, do you not know that the friendship with the world is in, in, in enmity with God? Whoever, therefore, wants to be a friend of the world is constituting himself an enemy of God. Or does it seem to you that the scripture says... To no purpose it is with a tendency to envy that the spirit, which has taken up residence within us, keeps longing. However, the undeserved kindness which he gives is greater. Hence it says, God opposes the haughty ones, but he gives undeserved kindness to the humble ones. Subject yourselves, therefore, to God, but oppose the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw close to God. And he will draw close to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you in, in, indecisive ones. Give way to misery and mourn and weep. Let, let your lauder be turned into mourning and your joy into, into the dejection. Humble yourselves in the eyes of Jehovah and he will exalt you. Quit speaking against one another, brothers. He who speaks against a brother or judges his brother speaks against law and judges law. Now, if you judge law, you are not a doer of law, but a judge. One there is that is lawgiver and judge, he who is able to save and to destroy. But you, who, who are you to be judging your neighbor? Come, now, now you who say today or tomorrow... We will journey to this city and we will spend a year there and we will engage in business and make profits. Whereas you do not know what your life will be tomorrow. For you are a mist appearing for a little while and then disappearing. Instead, you ought to say, if Jehovah wills, we shall live and also do this or that. But now you take pride in your self-assuming brags. All such taking of pride is wicked. Therefore, if one knows how to do what is right and yet not to do it, it is a sin for him. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope everything will be okay with these storms, y'all. I do not see that the euro is correct just for these simple facts. So I hope everything does change. I will give you an update again in the morning. Uh, I don't see much changing after the, the 5 p.m. If there is a dramatic change, I will update. But I believe this is it for today. So God bless you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you liked. And I do appreciate all of you. God bless you.